Assalamu alaikum grade 3 students today we will study chapter number 9 light light is a form of energy that enables us to see i have made here three pictures of luminous objects luminous objects are that can produce light bismillah rahman rahim in chapter number 9 light is a form of energy obtained from luminous objects here in these pictures, you can see the stars are luminous. And in this picture, the sun is luminous object. Now, light travels in straight lines called rays. Now, what are non-luminous objects? The objects that cannot produce light are called opaque or non-luminous objects. Moon is non-luminous, but it reflects light from sun. Now, what is light? Light is a form of energy and is the fastest thing in the universe. It tra travels much faster than sound. It takes just 8 minutes from sun to travel 146 million kilometer to reach the earth. At page number 66, Junior Scientist Quest, they are asking, Have you ever experienced a thunderstorm? There is a thunder and lightning which starts at the same time, but we first see a flash. Can you explain why? We can see electricity first because it is faster than sound. Okay? Then they are asking, uh, in junior quest of page number 66 they are asking that uh, it's a picture find out what are luminous and non-luminous things stars lights and lampposts are luminous things and non-luminous things are many i've just written moon tree and homes what is shadow sometime an object opaque object blocks the path of light as a result, light cannot reach the other side. The area of darkness is called shadow, which is formed due to the blockage of light. The object that block light is called opaque because light cannot pass through them. Now, the second type of objects are that allow light to pass through them. They are called transparent transparent sheets glass etc are transparent objects the object which allow a portion of light to pass through them are called translucent for example tissue paper butter paper frosted glass or our fingernail is frost is translucent so what we have studied opaque transparent translucent now we will study the junior quest of page number 67 they are showing a picture and they are saying that separate transparent and opaque objects i have separated out and written the answer transparent will be the tv screen the window pane and clock of a glass here the opaque will opaque objects will be bed chair fan wall and table okay students at page number 70 is the exercise we will study question number one is choose the correct option i have un uh, pointed out the answers with highlighter one which of the following is an example of a luminous object you know that the sun which of the following is an example of non-luminous object the moon which of the following is an example of transparent object window glass fourth is which of the following is an example of translucent object it's your fingernail Question number three is give reason of the following things that are non-luminous but appear to produce light. The heading was wrong so I have corrected it non-luminous objects. Mirror. The reason is reflects light rays. That's why it appears to be luminous. Diamond. Diamonds many times reflection of light rays. Moon. Moon appears to be luminous because it reflects sunlight. At page number 71, question number 5 is guess the name of the object by its shadow. So, I have uh, sorted out the answers. Here is A, heart shape, B, star shape, C, cuboid, 
डी सिलेंडर ई सफेर ओके स्टूडेंट्स टेक आउट यूर पेंसिल्स एंड कॉपीज एंड स्टार्ट राइटिंग गाइडेड क्वेश्चन नंबर वन वॉट कॉज इज द डे इन नाइट टू कम इन दिस पिक्चर आई हैव शोन दैट सन वेन द सन इज फॉलोइंग ऑन अर्थ द साइड वेयर द सन रेज आर फॉलोइंग दैट साइड हैज डे एंड द अदर साइड वेयर नो लाइट सन लाइट इज गोइंग इज पासिंग दैट साइड हैज night sun is a natural major source of light it lights up the side of earth facing the sun and the side displays day time the other side displays night time in which we use man made sources of light to see it's up to you you can draw this diagram as well but if, if you can't no need to draw now question number 2 is how does light travel Answer is light travels in straight lines called rays. Light ray strikes with an object and hit into our eyes. In this way we can see things. Question number 3 is how are shadows formed? Sometimes an object blo- blocks the path of light. As a result light cannot reach the other side of the object. The area the area which gets dark due to blockage of light is called shadow. The shadow has the same shape as the objects that form it. Question number 4 is why transparent things appear see through the object which allow light to pass through them are transparent. Transparent object look see through as light uh, pass through and change that is why we look straight through the glass. Now question number 5 is explain what are opaque objects give a, give four examples the object which block light or do not allow light to pass through them are opaque uh, you can see here apple is opaque because torch light is not pass through it examples of opaque objects are apple brick book and hand you can write your own examples as well it's up to you now question number 6 is name some animals that glow in the dark firefly crystal jelly dragonfly firefly squid and glow worms are animals that glow in the dark have you seen them okay if you have not seen such them in the on youtube or google them now question number 7 is why do shadows change during the day when the sun is low in the sky shadows are long when the sun is high in the sky the shadow is short shadows change length during the day as the angle at which the sun shines on the stationary object changes with the earth's rotation so that's it we have done all our question answers take care of yourself study hard work hard our unit number 9 is finished take care of yourself allah hafiz